Now we're going to cover the sleep function just a tiny bit more. So let's make a variable called sleep and we're going to make this uh, 1000. So now if we were to call sleep and we were to type sleep, it would sleep for this time, 1000. Let's go ahead and make a hot uh, tooltip real quick. Tooltip high. So now it'll send that and then it'll sleep for the time. You see, there it is, there it goes. Let's make this a little uglier so you guys can see it. Look at that, nice and ugly. Let's set this to 2000, which is two seconds. And it stayed there for quite a while. Now you can hard code the sleep function, like setting this to 2000, and that's perfectly fine. It's not always the best practice to hard code stuff because then you have to go back through and change it. But when making like a game bot, you like it might take a different amount of time for each action. So, you know, it might take 10 seconds. Sorry, it might take one second for the inventory menu to come up, but two seconds for the character window to come up. You can't like have infinite numbers of variables. So, you know, there are gonna be some hard-coded uh, pauses in here. Um, and an awesome feature of the sleep function, which we're going to cover and use a lot, um, is random. So when you're making a game bot that you don't want to be detected, if it always sleeps for the same amount of time, it's probably not human because, I mean, you don't always take one second to open up your inventory menu, you know? Sometimes it takes longer. So what you can do, let's just delete this whole line. We'll type sleep, put our open parenthesis, and then we'll type the word random, another open parenthesis, and now our minimum is gonna be one second. And our maximum, to demonstrate how drastic this is, we'll do 10 seconds. If you notice real quick, these parentheses are blue. That shows you a pair. Now you can see the function is complete. So let's watch and see how long it takes for this to go. Well, that was one second. As you can see, the second time is running a lot longer than the first one. It's still showing the tooltip. Let's run it one more time. Maybe it'll be a lot less. Who knows? Nope, it's still a long one. Well, that's the sleep function. Some interesting functionality. Again, it's used to pause your program and maybe give you some time between actions.